right, so we're gonna jump up to the front of the car for a while. We're gonna take a break from working on the back just to work on something different. And uh, the front should technically be easier because uh, I just need to cut some stuff off and then weld in a cross member. And then uh, everything else, after you get the just the cross member in, everything else bolts on. So uh, we'll work on getting the shock towers cut out. We're gonna get the... All right, so if you probably saw an early I took the shock towers off and I started drilling all the spot welds so I could take out the shock tower but I really don't need to do that because I'm going to replace all this stuff and on this side where it was wrecked this is all trash anyway so I'm actually just going to sawzall it so we'll get the tool out and uh, we'll start sawzalling and then uh, got to take the steering box out and the rest of the front suspension off so we'll probably try to knock that out today too. I think the lifetime warranty still good if he saws all it? I don't know.
right, so got some of the rough cuts done, so I'm got to put the big boy on to cut across the bottom. Before I do that, I got to get the steering box out, which I uh, can't get it separated. So I'm going to see if I can take the steering wheel off and just pull the whole steering shaft out this way. So we'll see how that goes. Finally got the hot tech steering wheel loose because the steering shaft is actually part of the steering box, I guess. I don't know. That's what I was reading online. Anyway, got it out. It's not gonna go back on, so it's not a big deal. And now I went ahead and drilled a three-quarter inch hole here and over here. And we're gonna put on the big boy blade on the sawzall. And uh, we'll start cutting and we'll get this out and then we'll have to probably do a few spot wells just to get this part off at the end but that's not a big deal and then we'll do the same thing on this side we'll just cut along and then we'll have a few spot wells to get out to get this part out but uh, we'll get to cutting Got the first one down, now we gotta do the other side. So we got the shock tires cut out and uh, all that's left now is we just got to go through and hit these spot welds and then we'll be able to get these brackets off and get the rest of this bracket off and then we'll have to clean up this and we have to do some measuring. Luckily I have one good frame rail so I can measure a certain far back and that's where I have to put the new Mustang 2 cross member and uh, this side since this side I won't have anything to measure off of since it was broke from the wreck. I think I'll probably figure out some way to just come across from this side to where I need to go and try to figure out, probably take a little extra measurement, but I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. And then we're gonna 
tried to get all the rest of this stuff off the firewall and really should have took my my line lock solenoids and master cylinder off the car instead of letting them sit out here in the rain they got pretty rusty so not sure what i'm gonna do about that and then that's my old clutch master cylinder from when it used to have a t5 in it which uh i just left it in there in case i ever want to go back to a manual at least i'll have the clutch ready the clutch pedal and the hydraulic clutch ready but uh other than that we're gonna go get a drill bit and start trying to get some of these spot welds out and see if we can make a little more progress.